Welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to use up some leftovers and I'm using some stuff that needs to be used in the refrigerator as well. And I got this idea, I was inspired by watching the Space Cowboys um, recipe this morning while I was getting ready for work and it just sounded like oh that's what I can do with it and I can take this to work and share it with my girlfriends so that's what I'm gonna do I'm going to put my own little spin on this and uh, actually what he did was stuffed some ready-made biscuits and you could do this with homemade biscuits as well but I happen to have a package of those in the fridge that I thought my husband would take with him and use and it hasn't happened so I want to get them out of the refrigerator. So that being said, I hope it inspires you to stay with me. I also hope that you'll go down in that show more box below, hit that Facebook page, thumbs up over there so you get notified whenever I upload anything and go over to the Wild Tree website that's right beside it. Check out any of the Wild Tree products you like, maybe explore the idea of becoming a rep. It's all in that uh, top toolbar. You can search for recipes, swap out your own ingredients for the wild tree ingredients. And um, anyways, hope it brings you along because this is going to be fun and delicious and super, super simple. Anybody could do this. This would be great to do with kids. So let's go do it. Come on. Okay, so here we go, Troy. <laughs> this is going to be my version. But as you can see, I've got a lot of pulled pork left over and I don't really need that much pulled pork. I don't know how I'm going to use it, so I want to share it at work, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to share it um, a little different way. Instead of bringing sandwich rolls and all that, I'm going to make some uh, roll or and or you could do this with your own biscuits too, but I've got eight flaky Grand's biscuits. My husband can cook these on his own. Um, he won't make homemade. Uh, when I do them, I do homemade, but these are quick and easy, but they're sitting in my refrigerator and I don't want them to go bad. So we're gonna go ahead and use these as the vessel for which our pulled pork will be in. And I'm excited, it sounded, what a fun idea and he really liked it. He did his with ground beef, all kinds of goodies, cheese. I'm going to pop this open. Ooh. I always hate doing these. Woo, there you go. So we're gonna get that down there. We'll leave that right there for now. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll these out a little bit because I'm pretty sure I think I need to. And if you want to, you can put some flour down, but I don't think, I don't really think it's necessary. And I'm anxious to see, um, being these are the flaky ones, if they end up flaky or not. Okay. We're gonna see. So you get your your uh, little biscuit all rolled out into the size you want. And these would be fun to do with kids. I've done this particular application and made little mini pizzas before. And um, kids love to do their own stuff. And I feel like the more you involve a child with his own food, or her own food, the more apt they are to eat healthy and to be more adventurous with their food choices as well. So, I know it's kind of against the grain to use cheese, but I can't resist. If you're doing some kind of a hot pocket or a hot biscuit, you gotta have cheese, right? I'm thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a spoon here. You're gonna put down your little bit of meat, and that's about mm, oh a, a nice portion, uh, maybe three tablespoons, possibly four. Then just top that off with some more cheese, and then of course because it's barbecue, can't do without this. We're gonna have to top it off some extra barbecue sauce. And then all you have to do now is huh, wrap this up like a pretty little present. And I might have had mine too full because I'm going to struggle here, I think. So I'm going to get that started. This is kind of how when you're doing a calzone, you end up with that, oh dear, what did I do? Kind of moment. And then you realize it's going to be okay. 
don't fill the next one quite as full. And this one's a little bit messy, but let's wash our hands off. Get my hands washed off, and I won't fill the next one quite as full because that one was a little bit too much. But then you're going to put this seam side down on your little bitty tray there, baking dish, and roll out some more. I'll do one more for you and then I'll get the rest of them done. quite as much. <laughs> we'll do that much. Let's put our sauce on in the middle. That might help too. A little less sauce. I'm going to do cheese on top. Woo! Yum. Now we're talking. There's always that test one. It has to give you the there you go. And that's number two. And I'm just going to keep making these and I'll bring you back when I get them all done and then I'm going to show you what I do. All right, so I have them all done and they're really pretty easy if you don't overload them. This first one got overloaded, but it's okay. It's all going to work out. So it's just these nice little packages. You just seal up your bottoms as best you can and you're good to go. And these are going to rise a little bit. Now, um, Troy... I don't remember if you did the butter before you baked them off or after, but we're gonna put some butter. You could do egg wash. You could leave them alone. But I'm gonna do some butter. Now, these are for the girls at work, and I want them to taste delicious. So, a little, little smidgen of butter on top. Never hurt anybody, right? All right. I got some meat there. There we go. And then after you get the butter on there, then I've got some garlic, kind of a spread that it's really good on garlic bread. And um, it's just going to make this really pretty and taste super delicious. So we're going to put some added parsley on top. We're gonna bake these off. I would bake them per instructions for your biscuits, even if you do um, homemade. Now, if I did homemade, I could have made, you know, 16, 20 biscuits for almost nothing. And really, what a great way to use up your leftovers. Have one of these or two of them alongside a salad, and you've got dinner. And it's dressed up in a different outfit, like I like to do. Okay, guys, I'm going to take a picture, put them in the oven, and I'll bring you right back. All right, guys, are you ready for this? Look how pretty these are. I'm just here to tell you, they smell amazing. They look amazing, and I really am happy with how these came out. Um, my oven cooks a little different because it's a little on-the-counter oven, um, so I have to be careful because things will cook really too fast if I'm not careful with it. So that's how... They came out. I'm gonna get a picture, bring you in for a close up, and show you what it looks on the in looks like on the inside. All right, guys, hold on a second. All right, so let's get a look at this. They are just are beautiful. Um, I'm gonna cut into this, and I want to see if this biscuit stay. You know, if it actually got a flaky consistency like they do when you bake them, because this was the flaky version. Or, ooh, look at that. Doesn't that look good? <laughs> Yum. <laughs> wow. Well, it does look like it could be a little flaky around the edge there, but they just look amazing. Delicious. Wow. This could mean another picture is in store here in a minute. As you can see, they're pretty hot. So... I'm going to take a bite for you and then we'll get some more pictures and I'll send you on your way. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> mm. 
Okay, there's not one thing wrong with that, <laughs> other than it's probably not good for me to eat, but how delicious. And what a great hors d'oeuvre and or like I said, I would be totally happy with one of these and a salad for dinner. And so you could ch change this up a bit, serve it with other things. Um, this is just a really simple way to dress something up in a different outfit and utilize all your leftovers without anybody getting bored or saying, do we have to have that again? So I hope it inspires you. I hope this brings you back. Um, I have tons more recipes where I'm going wh that I've got coming up. And um, I do want to send you over to uh, Space Cowboy TX. He's in Texas. And Troy kind of gave me this idea this morning and gave me the go ahead to do this video. And so, Troy, I don't know if it was what you thought, but this is what I came up with. And I'm going to utilize this in a different manner later on. I've got another idea coming up. So, anyways, guys, hope you like it. And I'll see you next time. God bless.